It would appear that the same police officer that hit the headlines in August for arresting a 16-year-old autistic girl for saying that the officer looked like her lesbian nana has hit the headlines once again. This time for, it would seem, using pepper spray against a number of different people in the crowd. Lots of people have tagged me and messaged me and asked me to look at this video, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. Um, this taken from the Daily Mail are screens grabs from the original video that you might recognise. I will link that in the description below as well. Only this time Time, there's a video been circulating online and the police say that uh, she is under investigation for the contents of this current recent video. So let's take a look at that video itself and what happened here. Now this was obviously an incident in Leeds and it seems that there's a disturbance within a crowd but it's what really happens that we need to look at and without prejudicing any investigation I can certainly give you my thoughts on it as I look at it firsthand here. Let's take a look at the clip first of all. And at this stage, the video seems to calm down. The crowd seems to have dissipated somewhat. So uh, this remainder of the video here is really just the police standing around and people filming it. Now, if you watch this video from the beginning once more, you can see uh, from the outset, we've got this police car in the front here and quite clearly the crowd is in the middle of the road. Um, you can see at least one, two, three, four, five, five, six or more officers already in the road, uh, some of whom are in high-vis yellow jackets. And if I go frame by frame, you can see this officer in question making her way into the road from the right-hand side here. Um, if I move my arrow here, you can see her just coming in from the side, from the right-hand side. If we go frame by frame, she moves a lot more quickly than all of the other officers. The other officers appear to be somewhat calm in their demeanour and trying to maintain control of the crowd. Uh, she runs in, um, clearly an, another officer follows her in, uh, clearly she appears to be quite agitated right from the outset here, although her, the view of her is obscured a little bit at this stage by this chap on the left, but here you can see her get quite a little bit agitated, you can tell by how far apart her legs are spaced and how she's sort of jumping around a little bit. Now it's at this point the first person appears to get sprayed by her, you can see in this is the first freeze frame of the spray coming up here where I've got the mouse uh, over. And so she lifts it up and this chap here on the left hand side, whilst he is standing there, he may have been perceived to be aggressive, but doesn't, his hands are by his side, so he doesn't really appear to be too aggressive, even though he's standing as part of the crowd. Um, she lifts the spray up and I would say no more than 30 to 50 centimetres away from his face and appears to spray him just underneath his face at that point there, and it just goes off and she's then waving the spray around. As we scrub through frame by frame, she lifts it up again and she's clearly pointing at the rest of the crowd uh, to get back, as she was shouting about get back as well. It's at this point here, you see another discharge, so this is appears to be the second discharge of her spray here. You can see it uh, just starting to discharge here, that's at the distance of closer to a meter, I would say, away from this other person. But the point here is this other chap who just comes into view on the left-hand side was just standing there. He was standing by the fence on the pavement away from the crowd, essentially, albeit he could have been seen to be part of the overall uh, incident. He was standing, in my view, by the fence on the pavement away from what was going on in the middle of the road. Nonetheless, I can't obviously make out what he said, so maybe she heard him say something, maybe she didn't. But she uh, obviously lifts her heart arm up here and discharges the spray towards him as well. As I said, he had his hands by his side, so he didn't appear to me to be doing anything aggressive. Um, turns his head away and lifts his arms up in self-defense. Uh, obviously, she's just sprayed him 
clearly in the face there. But just scrubbing back, I can't really see, other than standing there and being part of the crowd, I can't really see that it was necessary to do that. But let's move on. She lifts up again, pointing at the crowd again to move away. Now we've got two people in view here, um, one on the right-hand side of the screen, one on the left. Keep your eye on the, the guy on the right-hand side for a little bit later. The one on the left does appear to turn and move away because obviously he's seen what's happened. She then steps forward to point at the rest of the crowd who do appear to comply and move away to the left-hand side. She then turns around. Now, this is an important bit. This is the chap that I mentioned just a moment ago. This chap here clearly has his phone in his left hand. He's filming what's going on. You can just about make out on his phone that he's filming what's going on. She then turns and is obscured by this chap. But bearing in mind, the phone is still in his left hand. You can see his right elbow is down and his right arm looks like it's down. But then from almost point blank range, you can see here, he moves back in a reactive mode, but she again appears to spray him from next to no distance whilst he's standing there filming. Again, I don't think that was justified. He was standing there just filming what was going on. Arguably, he shouldn't be there, he should have moved on, he shouldn't be filming and so on, but in my view, he wasn't doing anything aggressive there at all. And yet, he now appears to be the third person to get sprayed from virtually no distance at all. Um, she then retreats back towards the other officers, and that, I believe, is the last time she uses her spray in this clip. Um, if we scrub forward once again, she's then um, back to being part of the crowd. She's still pointing at other people to move on. This lady here appears somewhat confused as to what's going on. And then it seems to calm down somewhat. Now, just to be clear, officers in situations like this are permitted to use force. But there are obviously standards with which they must comply. The use of force requires that police officers only use force when it is necessary, when it is proportionate and reasonable in all the circumstances. Now, all the circumstances in this case obviously include the fact that it appears to be quite a disturbance in the middle of the road by quite a number of people. Although the number of officers here will also be taken into account because it's not as though it was a whole crowd against, say, two officers. There were quite a number of officers here, I would argue, almost, if not as many, as members of the crowd itself. Now, I've been very helpfully provided with this document here, which is a publicly available policy statement document on the use of PAVA spray, not CS spray, as I mistakenly referred to in my previous video. Although most of the principles are, of course, still the same, in that the use of a PAVA irritant spray must still be reasonable and justified in the circumstances. An important part of this document that I felt necessary to refer to is that it says PAVA is issued for defensive or offensive use, but must not be regarded as a replacement for other routinely distributed protective equipment. But also, PAVA is a appropriate to use in crowds or confined spaces. I repeat, power is appropriate to use in crowds or confined spaces due to the lack of cross-contamination issues. Now, that doesn't detract from the question as to whether it was justified, necessary, reasonable in the circumstances in this video, but it does say that it is appropriate for use in crowds or confined spaces. But another thing that I'd like to say in this video is that whilst people will be quick to condemn and criticise the officer in this video, do remember that over the last few weeks, officers have been criticised for not responding more robustly than they they did with disturbances in the street just as this one shown in this clip here. And as I often say on this channel, we can't have it both ways. We can't have a situation where the police are heavily criticised for not responding robustly to a crowd disturbance, at the same time as being heavily criticised for doing just that. Now, my video is obviously not a definitive conclusion on whether this was right or wrong in this instance. That's not my decision to make. But as I also often say, most people watching this clip will not have the full facts and the full details of exactly what was going on, especially before the clip started started recording. So please do bear that in mind. Leave me your thoughts and comments in the box below. And as always, thank you for watching.